People do crazy things for love and sometimes end up not regretting their actions. But in this case, the victim we are about to discuss did not only sacrifice for a one-sided love, but she had a life taken from it. Hello and welcome back to Inside Crimes with Faith. Please smash the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications for more crime stories. On the 31st of October 2022, a 51-year-old Mexican named Blanca Arellano flew 3,000 miles from Mexico City to Lima, Peru to meet 37-year-old Juan Pablo Villafuerte, a Peruvian and a human medicine and biotechnology student who was said to be studying at the Faustino Sanchez Carrion National University. The two were said to have met on a gaming hub and had been in an online relationship for several months before Blanca, out of excitement and loneliness of heart, boarded a plane to meet him in search of true love. According to her family, before she left for Peru, she often shared her feelings towards Villafuerte and said she was happy and at peace with her relationship. After spending a week with Villafuerte and telling her niece that she had fallen in love with him, Blanca Harelono went missing with her family unable to contact her for weeks. Blanca's niece, Carla, was the first person to suspect something was wrong when she contacted Villafuerte for answers on why her auntie has not been responding to calls and not even calling home. Carla asked Villafuerte if Blanca was okay, only to get a demeaning response from him saying Blanca decided to leave him because he couldn't provide her with the luxurious lifestyle she wanted. He said Blanca got bored of him and left to find a plane ticket back to Mexico. In his last exchange with Blanca's family, he said, I hope she is doing well, but my role here is over. I don't know anything else from here and I'm saying this with sadness. I'm sure her phone is not working or she's out of battery. Take care and I hope she gets back home safe. Coupled with the fact that he tried to portray Blanca as a gold digger who was not after love but money, he also tried to sway her family from believing that he had anything to do with her disappearance. I wonder how killers think sometimes. So he actually thought that the Arellanos family would ignore the fact that their daughter, aunt and sister boarded a plane to see him in person only for her to vanish from the face of the earth after a week of arriving in his home country. Two weeks later, after no words from Blanca, her niece called for help on Twitter. The post says, I never thought I would be in this situation, but today I'm asking for your support to spread this post and find one of the most loved and important person in my life. My aunt, Blanca Olivia Aureliano Gutierrez, disappeared on Monday, November 7 in Peru. We fear for her life. She further explained that she had asked Villafuerte about her aunt's whereabouts, but he never gave any helpful answer as to where her aunt Blanca could be. This post circulated online and the Peruvian authorities decided to investigate the matter after the post was shared many times. Sadly, on November 10, they made an ugly discovery of a severed finger on the beach of Ocho. The fingertips were said to have been removed and it still had a silver ring on it. Some hours later, the authorities found a faceless head and then an arm. The following day, they found a tozo without any organs at the end of a canal that flows into the beach. Investigators were quick to find out that the canal passes in front of Jose Faustino Sanchez Cario National University where Villafuerte is a student. Forensic experts had also determined that the victim's face had been removed by someone experienced with a surgical instrument. It is sad that while most people study medicine to save lives, the likes of Villafuerte study medicine to kill lives. The investigators identified the remains of the body found on the sea to be Blanca's after her family confirmed that the ring on her finger is hers. There were traces of Blanca Arellano's blood throughout Villafuerte's apartment. Investigators also found women's clothing, hair and a Mexican flag in Villafuerte's room. He had also reportedly posted pictures, videos of her organs on TikTok days after her disappearance. Shortly after the discovery, police arrested Villafuerte on accusations of femicide, human trafficking and organ trafficking. Even though Villafuerte had denied his involvement in the crime, he still remains in the police custody as the investigation continues. 
It is so sad that Blanca Arellano went to seek for love in the hands of a demon who ended up toying with her sincere love for him and eventually murdered her, dismembered and had her organs invested. Let's put the Arellano's family in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you for watching and see you all in my next video.